Hi, so it's been kind of a difficult week. I've still been dealing with that like pressure in my head on the left side at times. And because of that, I missed my therapy appointment on Monday, which I had a meltdown about the day of. And basically what happened was I went to work that day thinking, you know, I can get through today. It'll be all right. And I, at the end of the day, was really not feeling great, like disoriented, just kind of nauseous and stuff. It made me not feel super comfortable with doing the drive to get there and driving back home. I did it on Friday the week uh, before, and I found it kind of difficult to get through, and it was really stressing me out on the way there and the way home because of how I had felt. And I had talked to my psychiatrist about it during that visit too, uh, which I mentioned, I believe in my last video. And because of that, I decided to call the therapy place when I got out of work that day. And I asked if I could switch to a video appointment and I had done that in the past. So I figured it would be fine and they connected me to my therapist line and I left her a message um, and when I got home I hadn't heard back so I called again and I was told that she was in a meeting and you know makes sense but by the time my um, appointment had come around and of course I decided to stay home because it had always been okay. Uh, I still hadn't heard from her so I had to call again and this time I was on hold for like 15 minutes and I was connected to her line again and it uh, basically just uh, resulted in me leaving a message and I was really freaking out at this point because I was told, you know, if you miss appointments, uh, you'll stop being seen. And that freaks me out quite a bit. So I called her, I left a message, and I called her again and I left another message. And I was basically like having a meltdown in that moment. Um, I was really upset, like on the verge of crying and just really worried and so on. So I still haven't heard back from her um, and online it says that I'd missed the appointment so I'm still really worried about that too like if she is like upset with me or something um, I don't know it doesn't feel good though and it's hard to not worry about all the like negative thoughts that pop up um, regarding that so I guess um, it's kind of like looming over me in a way, uh, wondering what's going on and if the things that I'm thinking are like actually accurate or not. And it's been three weeks between each of my visits, so because I missed that one, it'll be a month and a half since I'd last seen her when I get to see her again. So that's not great either. And I guess part of why it like really um, gets to me and makes me upset and worried and stuff too is because I personally really liked this therapist. I thought she was really awesome. Um, just uh, great at, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, very, you know, validating and offers uh, great perspective and advice and everything. And I felt like she was a really good listener. And I almost always left the appointments feeling better than I had when I went in. Uh, even if I was in a really bad spot. Uh, sometimes it didn't help, but most of the time it did. 
So if I've like made her not like dealing with me or something like that or frustrated with me or whatever because I missed the appointment that would feel really awful. I, I maybe place too much emphasis on what people think about me. So I don't know. I guess maybe there isn't really much else to say about this. I have to figure out what's going on. Uh, but yeah, all that because I'm still dealing with the other thing that's really scary too, and that's that I have that weird pressure in the left side of my head that comes and goes from time to time, but when it's there, it's really, really um, distressing because I feel like kind of just disoriented, um, nauseous uh, at times, kind of, I guess, like at least a little bit cognitively impaired, though that could be because I'm stressing about it a lot. I have contacted the doctor about it even after I had my appointment, which I think I talked about my last video, but um, I was basically advised to take the uh, prednisone that I was prescribed during my visit where they diagnosed it as a sinus infection, and I've still been reluctant to take that um, despite having some encouragement from uh, a coworker of mine and uh, from the doctor after I called back, or, or rather a nurse from from the doctor's office who has contacted me multiple times now. And I wasn't sure like what I should do because she just said, you know, to take the medication and, or go to the ER and that the um, doctor who prescribed it wouldn't prescribe me something that would hurt me. And I do like understand that. I guess I just am extremely cautious because of having been uh, put in the emergency room because of a side effect from a medication before, which I have talked about uh, in the past. There's not a lot of time to cover it, but uh, yeah, basically I couldn't use the bathroom and I went to urgent care and they sent me to the emergency room and it was because... Uh, like my bladder was like so full that it was about to burst so I had to get a catheter put in and have that going for a while uh, because I literally just couldn't use the bathroom no matter how many, much I had tried. Um, it was really awful experience and it's kind of traumatized me in a way and made me always like super cautious from then on about what I take for medications. So, uh, yeah, um, that nurse has, like, contacted me multiple times, and I do find it really sweet, and I appreciate that they care and are, and are trying to help. Um, I just can't seem to get myself to take that because it's a steroid, and from what I've read, um, steroids can make issues like blood clots and stuff worse, so if it is something like that, which I'm doing my best to believe that it's not, though I am more at risk for taking estrogen. So, yeah, uh, it's just a lot, and it's been difficult dealing with all of this and still trying to go to work because I need the money because I am basically broke and in poverty uh, level income, and I am not even really making enough to save anymore with all the things I need to buy to take care of myself, all the basic needs things, uh, buying the special food that I had to have because of my um, gastrointestinal issues, which are just di diagnosed as IBS right now, but maybe it's something more than that. I can't really get them to budge on that right now. Um, so yeah, uh, it's been difficult. I think there were other things I wanted to talk about, but I'm down to like just about 30 seconds left. Uh, Oh, yeah, I've been doing um, a lot of cleaning over this weekend, so that's been kind of good, I think. Um, I had put a lot of it off for a while because of my mental health, but uh, I've been tackling it now, and I'm pretty happy about that, at least, so that was like the good part of this week, I would say. Um, but anyways, I really appreciate anybody watching this, and I wish you the absolute best. Thank you, and take care.